in Denver just not knowing. You know, you don't know how to be a professional. And I go from Miami to Denver. So I'm I'm cool, you know. Somebody offered me the opportunity, hey, CP, we're going to give you a private jet to go down and check out UM in, in Arizona in, in the game, but you have a party at our place. Cool, I'll do it. Where your place at? Oh, we got a little cabaret downtown Denver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man, I'm down. Coach called me in back into the office after I used this plane to go down and say, Clinton, what are you thinking? I said, man, what you talking about? They got a billboard on 470, the main highway. In Denver. In Denver. They got a, whatever the highway is, they got a billboard advertising me hosting a party at, at a gentleman's club. <laughs> So Coach Shanahan called me in the office. I remember office. that, though. Coach Shanahan called me in the office. I'm like, man, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? He's like, they got a billboard. What you want? <laughs> like, bro, this is what happened. They offered me the jet yeah. to go down to see UM play. In exchange, I do a party at, at, at their venue. Right, right, right. That's what we agreed upon. I didn't know they was putting a bill, the biggest billboard. This billboard was like overlooking Invesco. <laughs> so everybody gets to see it. So it was just like learning little yeah. things. But you know, what made it easy was Shannon Sharp or Rod Smith, like, coach, he didn't know. You know what I mean? Like, we got him. Or, bro, you got to take that out. You can't do that. You know, um, my best game, I felt like one of my best games of my career, Shannon Sharp was my savior. Because I was going to tell coach, I can't play. I didn't drink in season. <clears throat> we had we had a rookie night mm. on Friday night. I was still drunk Sunday when the game came. Dang. That's how crazy our rookie night was. Damn. And that I'm at the stadium. Been. I'm getting ready to walk into – that's coach office. I'm getting ready to walk into coach office and say, Coach, I can't play under these conditions. <laughs> And Hold on. <laughs> under your condition? Yeah, I can't. I can't you were about to take your butt in there and say I didn't that? No, it's not knowing. Yeah. But I was actually about to go in and say, Coach, I can't play. This is what's wrong with me. Shannon Sharp stopped me and said, CP, what you doing? I guess he saw me like I wasn't yeah. my usual self. He said, Man, what you doing? I said, I, I can't play in this game. He said, Oh, no. That ain't. That ain't an no, that, yeah. ain't, that ain't an option. Like, that's not that has nothing to do with coach. You got to get ready. So he was like, "What you need to do is go outside, sprint, run one tens, so you can get that out your system. Throw it up, come contrast whirlpools, hot cold whirlpool, mm-hmm. and get ready for the game." So I go out. I think I ran like fourteen one tens before a game. Before the game, I'm sprinting, sprint down the sideline, blah, to throw up. Come hot cold whirlpool, right? I'm like, I don't know what I'm about to do. Best game I had. I go hit Arizona like two thirty eight, two touchdowns. Last game of the season, like we were out of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. We had got eliminated earlier, so I feel like that was the best game I ever had. After I ran fourteen one tens, I still went out and ran for two hundred yards. 